Hello, brothers and sisters. Game over. U.S. and European officials quietly nudge Ukraine to seek peace. With the world's attention squarely fixed on the Israel-Gaza war and a baseless hope for a Ukrainian expulsion of the Russian army has evaporated, U.S. and European officials have started quietly conferring with Ukraine on pot potential concessions that could bring the war to an end. These discussions aren't about a new counteroffensive, they're about what concessions Ukraine could live with pursuant to a peace agreement. Some of the conversations which officials describe as delicate happened during an October meeting of the Ukrainian Defense Contract Group, an affiliation of more than 50 governments that side with Ukraine. In eyebrow-raising comments for The Economist this week, Ukraine's top commander admitted there will be no breakthrough and the battlefield situation is in a stalemate. The New York Times characterized these remarks as the first time a top Ukrainian commander has said that the fighting has reached an impasse. Better watch out, Zelensky might get rid of him. Russia's territorial gains are close to matching the goals that Putin outlined at the start of his special military cooperation here. Russia controls most of Zaporizhia, and Kherson Oblasts, giving Russia a land bridge to the Crimean Peninsula. So Russia would accept that, I'm sure, and then she could concentrate and focus just wholly on Israel and cornering her and working on her Gog-Magog strategy with Turkey, Ethiopia, all the other countries that are going to come together to assist in that one. But we first have to see how Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17 and all those things play out in the interim right here while we're still here. So we get to see these things take place until we're not. So the same way that Enoch walked with God, Enoch walked with God and then he was not. That is where we're at right now. We're walking with God. We're seeking to be closer to him. We're diving deeper into his word. We're learning. We're growing. We're shedding the light. We're shedding the gospel everywhere. We are sharing, sharing, sharing and shedding light in darkness wherever we go until we're gone. And that's what we're striving for. God bless. Keep looking up. Pray for all the brothers and sisters in Ukraine that do know the Lord, that are struggling, that the Lord be with them, encourage them, strengthen them, and pray for all of those that still need to meet Jesus. Shalom.